So we're going to talk about how to upload your Laravel project from your local server, local project to the shared hosting hostgator live server. Okay. So I have my HT docs uh, of my MAMP wherein I have this Laravel project and this is my entire project right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a zip folder out of this. So I'm going to compress this. Okay. I'll just pause it while it compresses. While it compresses, guys, uh, we're going to make two directories uh, basically into our public HTML folder. Uh, the first directory, we'll name it as Laravel, where we will have the uh, project. So Laravel directory and the second directory we're going to create. Okay, I think I created a file instead of a folder. Okay, so Laravel will be the first directory. And second will be the Laravel app. Okay, so let's come back here. I think it's almost done. Okay, uh, we're going to make two zip. First zip will be for the entire project, and the second zip will be for just the public uh, directory uh, in our for our project. So just compress this, and I've got this. Okay. So now I have two directories. One is public for the public directory and one is for the entire project which is Laravel like right here. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and upload these. So inside of the Laravel directory, I'm going to upload the entire project. Okay, so just click on upload. And I'll just drop the entire pro Laravel project zip folder. And then inside of the Laravel, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, one second, let me cancel this. Okay, so inside of the Laravel directory, I will upload the public uh, zip folder. Public zip folder inside of the Laravel directory, it's done. And inside of the Laravel app, I will upload the entire project zip folder, which is Laravel. Click on upload. Okay. So it's going to take some time to do that. So just to recap, uh, I have made two zip folders. One is the a Laravel zip folder which contains the entire project uh, which will go inside of the Laravel app directory and I made a public uh, zip directory uh, out of the public directory of my project which goes inside of the Laravel directory okay so let's just upload I'm gonna pause the video while it uploads okay guys so it's been uploaded uh, I'm just gonna go and refresh the page go to my public HTML directory and inside of the Laravel, I have the public zip. I'll extract it. It's extracted. I'll delete the public zip. And I'm going to move all the content of the public directory to the Laravel directory. And once that is done, I will delete the empty public directory. Okay, so you can now see that I have Laravel directory inside of which I've got the entire content of the public directory of my local project and inside of the Laravel app I will again extract the Laravel zip and once it's extracted I will move the entire content of the Laravel uh, directory into Laravel app directory okay so it's been extracted uh, I'll delete these two directories these are not needed and like I said, I will take the entire content. Make sure that you know you have clicked on settings and show hidden files because there are hidden files like .env and all of that. Those are extremely important. So I don't think I need the .idea directory. I'll just leave it for now. <coughs> okay, so I'm moving the content of the Laravel. Uh, a zip that I created uh, and I'm moving that into the Laravel app and once that is done I will just delete the Laravel directory which is empty 
Okay, great. So just to recap, I have Laravel directory in, inside of which I've got the entire content of the public directory, which I moved from locally. And then inside of the Laravel underscore app, I've got the entire project. And all I'm going to do is just delete this public directory because we don't need it over here. Great. <clears throat> now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a database uh, and move the database from local, uh, you know, uh, local database over, over to here. So I'm just going to click on MySQL databases. <coughs> I'll name the database as uh, Laravel Imran NG underscore Laravel. I'll create it. I'll also create a new user for this. So I'm just going to create a new user. I'll name it as Imran, let's say. And I'll set the password for it. So I've set the password, create user, okay, and I'm going to assign this user to this particular database that I've created. So I'll go on to add user to database, I will select user as this, database as this, and click on add. Give all privileges to this user, make changes, okay, and now if I go back you will notice that this is the database that I've created I've given the user is this and obviously I've set some password and ID for that uh, now if you go on to oh so now you need to go on to the PSP my admin for your server it will redirect me in a moment Okay, so this is my PHP my admin, and if you click over here, sure enough, you can see that you've got the database created. What we need to do now is basically move my database from a local uh, server to the live server. So for that, uh, I will go on to the SQL Pro. This is where I have the Laravel uh, project, and I'm going to click on the export as SQL dump. Make sure you save the file as .sql, and select all of the tables that I want to export and I'm just going to export it and it's been exported and I have that inside of my download directory you can see this, this is the one okay so this is the file make sure it's .sql extension okay so I've got that I need to export import this database now so I click on import I'll choose the file which I've just exported which is this one and I'll just select go once you've done that, sure enough, you can see that you've got all the uh, you know database tables that have been migrated. You can see it's got all the content as, as well. Okay, and this is the same uh, you know tables that I have over here: post, task, users, all of that. So you've got all of that there. Yep, great. So database has been exported. Database has been created. All we have to do now is basically go on to our directory wherein. We'll set up the database configuration. Okay, it's been expired, so I'll have to re-log in this one moment. Okay, I can go over here, file manager, go on to my public HTML, go on to Laravel app, where I have the .env uh, file. I'll go ahead and edit it and set up the database configuration. So, I'm just going to check what was the name of the database that we have created. Click on MySQL databases. This is the name of the database that I have created, which is Imran JNE underscore Laravel. I'm just going to update that over here so you can see that. This is the database name, so I'll change it to this. Then I need the username. So, remember, we had set the username as this. So, I'll just copy this. And paste it here and then it's asking for my password whatever password you had set for yourself uh, for this particular user you will put over there so I'll just put it so I put the password as well guys after putting the password guys I've saved the file once I've saved it uh, now I will go ahead and try to open up my project so let me try that 
So I have put the project uh, into my subdomain, which is Laravel. So I have put imranzia.com, that's my root URL, and then subdomain Laravel, because that's the folder name where I have put the public, uh, you know, uh, folder content. So if I click on it, you can see it's not working. Uh, the reason for this is because um, we need to change the URL in the index.php. So if you go back into Laravel, click on index.php, edit it. So there are two places you need to change the URLs. First is we need to tell uh, Laravel that where does this app.php reside. So the entire project uh, is in under the Laravel underscore app directory. So I'm just going to prefix that over here. Similarly, at this place as well, I will just prefix it to tell Laravel this is where the entire project resides. I'll go ahead and save this. So once it's saved, I come over here, I now refresh the page, and sure enough, I've got my Laravel project running over here. I've got different files. Uh, sorry, not this one. Okay, so I've got the entire project basically over here. Okay, now the most important thing, guys, is uh, make sure that inside of your uh, software tab, select PHP version, make sure that you've selected PHP 7.1 over here and set that as current because if you've selected 5.6 or 5.5, Again, it won't work. See, if I'm changing this to 5.5, 5.6, if I come over here, refresh the page, nothing works. So make sure that in case if it's not working, just go back and check your configuration for your PHP uh, version. Make sure it's set to 7.1 in for your server, and sure enough, then it would be working perfectly fine. Okay. That's about it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave the comment, and I'll be happy to help you. If you did like my video, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share my videos with others to help them as well. All right, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.